Hey, what's going on? This is Billy. I talked to you the other day. Uh, man, this is a crazy story here dealing with R. Kelly. I will tell you that. Talk that um, shit. Talk it, Billy. Man, the main thing about this is, is, is and like I, I've told you before, I'm a Caucasian, so I have a little, uh, I have a little bit different uh, culture difference as far as my viewpoint, but I get straight to the point with my viewpoint, and I want everybody to know that. Like I, am not, I am not by any means against the black culture at all, but all you have to do is read the signs as you're traveling down the road. And one of the signs with R. Kelly is, what did he call himself, Cab? What was his name? The Pied Piper. I mentioned it earlier. Go ahead. Oh, okay. You mentioned that earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm no, you're you're stuff. you're quite all right with me, my man. Go ahead. But yeah, that whole story talking about the Pied Piper, how he gets the children out after they send them in to get the rats out the village, and they couldn't pay him, so he decided to. Uh, take the kids out of there. That guy, hey, I'm telling you, R. Kelly is a scandal. I, I just don't know what to say, man. I mean, he's just a straight up fraud, man. And he likes the little, he likes the little girl boobies and and and, and they poochy. Uh, I see it. Well, well, I, did, I, I just really can't He was it. caught. He was caught on video, and they they said he didn't do it. That makes no sense either, and, and that's another thing that just truly does not make any sense. And 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 then dealing with him, and you have a lot of people like you've been showing. I, I've been watching for the last five minutes because I've been at work. Uh, I drive trucks and stuff, so I've been at work. I haven't been able to catch the whole show, but I mean, it's a lot of people. It sounds like his story is just like Michael Jackson. Go ahead. Yeah, it sounds like it's just like Michael Jackson, but then you got a lot of people that will just totally act like it ain't the same thing as what's going on with Michael himself. And I just, you know, I just don't understand how people just act like this isn't what it is. It's just like, man, come on, these people are doing this stuff, and they've been doing this stuff. I mean, you can blame it on them being, you know, molested at kids and stuff like that, but... You know, I mean, we need to start a whole registry for, for people that were molested as kids because they're going to grow up and do these same things the majority of the time. Do you think do you think that's that's an accurate statement? Do you have any statistics to back that up? Or is that just the way, you know, we, we kind of see that as America. If, 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 if you get harmed by an individual as a child, you're more likely to repeat that. If, you know, that's kind of like the, the overall... Um, uh, consensus. Well, let's, just, let's just flat out statistics if you're able to look it up. Um, uh, the majority of these people that are getting, um, you know, that are raping people and that are reporting people being raped, a lot of them have had a similar type of thing happen to them when they were in their childhood. Either they did it or they had it done to them. I mean, R. Kelly was raped as a kid by his, uh, by his auntie. Hmm. Mm -mm. And a lot of people don't know that. And then at the same time, he was having sex with it, with Aaliyah and Aaliyah's mother. His mom, uh, Aaliyah's mom, was in sexual relations with uh, R. Kelly. Is that what you're trying to convey here, sir? With R. Kelly as well, and, and a lot of people don't understand. Aaliyah's mom was in the industry as well, as far as it as it goes. She was. It's kind of like. It's kind of like how LeBron's mom is. And if you ever notice how LeBron's mom is, and I hate to jump on another black man, but I'm just going to do it. You know what I mean? I don't like to, you know, I don't like to jump on black man. That's, that's just not my thing. But, you know, when she was, you know, uh, I've, I've got a couple friends down in D.C., and they used to, they used to be in the AAU basketball world, and they told me flat out that I used to play basketball about six foot seven. I used to chop down trees and all types of stuff like that. I'm a tall guy, but I just didn't have, you know, that's why I like black people, because they're able to play that basketball. I will say that. I will say that. But uh, back to the story at hand, um, 
Now, LeBron's mom used to, you know, she used to go off and mess with, with all of LeBron's, uh, <laughs> uh, all of the dads and stuff. Oh, and Jesus she, Christ. She used to mess with them. She definitely used to mess with them. I've got, I'm telling you, I've got a list of stories that I can have people call in as well and get you, as long as it's confidential. You know, uh, they can call in and they can tell you all these things that have happened, man. These people in the industry, they once they see a little bit of green, they're trying to see what butt cheeks they can slide in between. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah, Roger I, that. I, Thank you. We're going to try to keep it as clean as we can, but tr oh, straight God, to the point. No, oh, hey, that was, that was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. A little suggestion, but... Thank I know you. it sounds a little funny, but it, it, it's just the real. The thing about it is, like I said, Aaliyah's mom was having sex with R. Kelly, too. Now, this comes from an intel of mine, and I don't want to let their name go. And I just want people to know, just because my name is Billy, my last name ain't Ho. And I just want people to know that I know things just like you know things. And I probably know a little bit more, but what I will say is, he was having sex with Aaliyah and the mother, too. And, and, and during the same period of time,